Hello friends, I am going to start a new video tutorial series where we will learn how to use root and there we will learn how to plot graphs, how to plot histograms and how to save them in root format or PDF or uh, image format and how to read those saved root graphs and how to save data in tree format or how to read them from tree formats and how to customize our histograms and how to change this title etc so all these things we are going to learn and today in this first uh, video in that series we will learn how to uh, use root and basically how to run any root program or how to write any root program so let's start so we will open a terminal where if you type root you can see there are two things one is this logo which appears in the beginning and then there is some text which has some information like this root 6.14 so 6.14 is the version of the root and it might be different in your case because it depends upon what version you have you are using and so this is a interpreter mode where you can type any commands and so suppose if you type 2 it will say int 2 basically result of typing 2 is 2 if you type 2 plus 3 it will show 5 so it can do a calculation also so you can use c commands here like int i equal to 2 so you have declared an integer i whose value equal to 2 so it can show that the uh, result is 2 say you can declare integer 3 and it will show 3 so if you say i plus j it will show uh, the sum equal to 5 so because i was 2 j was 3 so if you multiply i multiply j it will show you 6 so it can do all these calculations but in real life when you write programs you are not going to write all those lines here because there may be hundreds or thousands of lines in your program so it will be better if you can write all those lines uh, in a separate file and just run that file here so that way of uh, uh, running a uh, or using a root is called macro so basically you write a file which will be called macro so now you will learn how to write macro and how to run macro then so you can go out of this interpreter mode by pressing dot q so now let's declare right let's open a new file so we will rename this as hello.cpp cpp is the extension for c++ it doesn't matter even if you are okay there was some previous file opened anyway so now this is a new file so here you can declare a function let's say void hello so we can write c out hello world so you can save it and now if you want to run it you can type root and then the name of the file which is hello.cpp and you can press enter so this logo will again appear and all this information if you want to skip that we can do that I will tell you after this and so you can see the processing hello.cpp uh, it is saying that it has processed this file and the result or the output of that file is hello world which is basically the output of this line 2 so now you can go out of this uh, uh, but if before going out you can see uh, if you press uh, upward arrow you can see that these are the commands which we pressed last so you can see minus dot q was the last command in this interpreter way when we came out then when you pre entered this command root hello.cpp this is equivalent to dot x hello.cpp so it means the x means execute so basically it has executed this hello.cpp so so now we can go out so if you press minus l then it will not show this uh, feature and all those uh, logo so it will just process your file so now what if you have more functions like you have one more function let's say void uh, 
uh, addition and let's say you write c out uh, 2 plus 3 and l so now if you press enter this command run this file you might expect both these function will run but this is not the case only the first function is running not the second so basically uh, the function whose name is same as the name of the file that will run automatically when you press this execute but if you want to you run any other function then you need to use this l so basically l means load so you have to load this file so it will not run immediately but it now you can write any function for example addition you press tab it will complete it and if you enter it will say addition is 2 plus 5 uh, 3 equal to 5 but if you want to run hello you can press h and if you say tab it will show there are two files starting from the h so you need to specify few, few more alphabet so let's say e now you can complete it and when you enter it will run this so in this way it can uh, run any function here so the order of the function does not matter so if you have suppose you have a function here in the first uh, instead of addition you have a multiply and you multiply these two numbers so now if you if you say if you run this execute uh, it will not I mean <coughs> it will still run this folder hello because the name is same the order does not matter but if you want to run the full thing you need to load it and then now once you have loaded then you can see multi and then you can complete it so if you say this uh, enter this now it is 3 into 2 equal to 6 so in this way you can run all those functions which are present in this macro after loading the macro so but in most of the cases this is okay when you are running a standalone program you want to plot one or two graphs or do some small analysis but what if you are using a big program which is using c plus plus fortran python and many other libraries at the same time and there you want to use this root feature also so then you need to include this file along with lot more other files so then you need to basically compile it so compilation means for this file and this code you will get a binary code and that you can run and so for that you need to compile this thing so let's see how we can compile so then now we have to go to standard c++ way so we need to declare a int main function and inside int main you can write let's say c out hello from main and so when you write c++ you need to include headers also these headers were not required when we were uh, running through interpreter mode because interpreter supplies all those headers but now we want to compile this on uh, using g++ so we need to specify all the headers and since we are not using this standard std so we also need to use using namespace std and this library io stream is for this in input output this c out or c in so we are using this c out so we need to specify this header so if you save it right now this program is a basic c++ program so if you say g++ hello.cpp and press enter it will be able to run it compile it and you can see what file has been created so using minus ls minus ltr in this last file uh, which created was this a dot out so you can run it like dot slash a dot out and you can see hello from main so this function ran because in when you compile a c++ file this function main that is the one which runs by default and if you want to run any other function you can call them from this main for example this multiply and so if you say save it and run you again have to compile so that this binary executable is updated so you can see now this 6 is written because it called the multiply which is giving the output as 3 into 2 which is 6 and but this is only 
C++. But how are you going to use something for root? So suppose you want to use some function, let's say one histogram class th1 d star h. So I'm not going to explain what does this mean. It just mean like you declare an integer variable. I have declared a histogram kind of variable h. But if I directly go here and try to compile it, it will say there is an error. It does not know what do what does this class mean. So you need to include this class also. So usually the name of the file is same as this. So you can write include and whenever you are including any external library to this C++ code, you need to use inverted commas. And when you are using internal library from C++, you need to use angular brackets. So we will use inverted commas because root is an external library. So any class dot h. So this because we want to use this th1d, we will put this th1d dot h and we will save it. And but still this is not enough because it will not be able to take root on its own. Now it knows that this is a class and it is going to this header, but it does not know where the header is located. So you need to specify now the uh, library that uh, you will specify to this G++, please use this library. So for that you can use this uh, comma which is present on the keyboard uh, uh, beside A. So this is not invert single inverted comma, this is other one in this tilde. So you can now you can specify root um, config and then minus minus C flex minus minus G libs and then again this close you close this comma and if you enter now it will compile basically it has compiled it it know it has given this lab this special command has given the path to all those libraries like this th1d dot h now if you run dot slash a dot out it will run it so it has run the same thing because we have not used it we have just declared it since we will describe this in the future but i wanted to show what does what do i mean when i say you want to include uh, root features so suppose you want to include one more feature let's say uh, one more class like t file star f so this is a file format for root so if you want to use this t file so you need to include this in your header again i mean this also so include t file dot h so now you can save it and if you run this yeah it has compiled successfully and you can run this so whatever class you are trying to use you have to put all those classes here you you don't need to put everything here you just put whatever class you are trying to use the classes which you are not using you don't have to bother about so in this way you can uh, run uh, root commands and you can write them in two ways macro and in compile format so macro is when you want to use for small programs standalone programs so but when you want to include these features with a big program suppose you are running a big program in C++ where you are calculating some data simulating and then at the end there is a result and you want to plot that using root so at the end you will write something like this and then some more commands which will take the output of that program and plot a graph so that time only in this file in this plotting file you need to include this type of headers and then you can while compiling you can specify that this is the library which compiler should use so then the output file will be uh, having the feature of root and you can run suppose you don't like this a dot out or you want to have a special name then you can specify that by minus o and minus o let's say hello so if you say enter yeah it has compiled so min ls minus ltr you can see the hello has been created so now you can write this and uh, write a command dot slash hello and you can say this okay so in this way we can write root commands and run them in macro as well as in compiled form and in the future tutorial we will um, explain how to plot graph and all those things but these are the uh, ways in which you can use root and if you find this tutorial useful please, li please like it 
because once you like it it helps the video to gain more visitors and then more people will be able to benefit from this video thank you